Hey guys, so today I'm doing a Project Life video. Um, this is a 9x12 Studio Calico album. If you've seen my previous Project Life videos, you'll see that I made a change. I was using an 8x8. Sorry for all the, uh, I guess, not really project changes, but the way of the project change, like the album or the book. I've just been a little indecisive this year with starting some new projects. Towards the end of last year, I got kind of, um, not, I don't want to say bored, but I got overwhelmed with the 12x12 Project Life, so I decided to switch down to an 8x8, and that was working, but it started to get really repetitive with squares, and I wasn't loving having squares, I was kind of missing like the 3x4, like the more rectangle style. So I decided to go back at it with a 9x12, so it wouldn't be quite as big as a 12x12, but I'd still have a little bit more um, room to be creative, I guess you'd say. So I started the book out with a galaxy-themed paper pad. Um, it was just like a 4x6 paper pad. It had this star print with the silver. Um, this one is really pretty. And then I just threw in a patterned um, black and white stripe with a little Happy New Year and did some purple thread underneath to match this galaxy paper. Um, I just added a black and white photo of the family from January of this year, so it's kind of like the beginning of the year. And then I do have one more thing here. I want to add a quote that says, the best things about memories is making them. And I'm probably going to add in like these paper clips, put the quote on like a little piece of paper or something. I haven't completely decided how I want to do that, but something along those lines. And then on um, a like a collage program, I made the big 2020 and I just printed it twice and then cut this one in half to fit the 3x4. And I added some stars because I knew I was using that galaxy paper. So I really liked how that turned out. It's more like simple. I'm trying to do my project life a little bit more simple. Um, a little more coordinated from like page to page. Like you'll see here when you flip it. I wanted like the matching sides to kind of coordinate a little better. And I think that'll help even if I don't do like necessarily a double spread. If I just... Um, well, I guess I sort of am doing a double spread because instead of printing my photos, like, I never really did weekly Project Life, but I would print my photos almost every week or every event or whatever, and I think having a baby and all that, that got way too overwhelming, like, I was getting so behind, so it's a lot easier to do it by the month now. And so I just saved a whole batch of photos from January, printed them all, um, kind of did some different sizes, but mostly three by four, and then just threw them in the pockets where I thought fit, and yeah. So over here I used a lot of hip kit stuff for the little cluster of January. I used a old, um, hip kit journaling card and journaled there, and then just a piece of pattern paper and this little tis the season to be freezing. And this picture of the snow there, but we finally had a little bit of snow. That's another uh, question. Comment down below. What do you guys like? Um, do you like to get like project kits of like full sheet, like scrapbook paper sheets? Because I used to do um, layouts and I still do layouts too. But now that I'm doing Project Life again, sometimes I just want pocket cards. But I don't know, like... Is it better to have the pocket cards or the papers, I guess is what I'm getting at. Because, <laughs> like, you can cut the papers down, but sometimes it gets too busy with all the color. So, I don't know. What do you guys like to do? This page over here, I just added these bath time stickers, um, letters, and wrote bath time. And then, uh, these were just, there was just a lot of photos of Monkey and me just hanging out this month. We didn't do a lot of month. Uh, a lot of stuff this month. In the beginning of the month, we all were sick. The whole family came down with sinus infections and ear infections and all that lovely crap that we get in the winter. So that was, these three photos were all about sick days. 
So yeah, there was a lot of, um, just cuddles <laughs> and snuggles and sitting on the couch. So on to the next page. This page I had done before I started really thinking about my project life, like before I added the cover and wanted to coordinate things. So it's a little busy, a little bit more busy than I want to do in the future, but I didn't want to redo it because I had printed a lot of journaling and I kind of liked how the journaling looked on some of those cards. And then as I was doing it, I realized I used this card, like this uh, pattern paper, like three times. One, two, and three. So I was like, holy crap, I used it like almost all of January. So that was a little, I don't know, I didn't really like that, but I already did it and I wasn't going to redo it. So it is what it is, I guess. Um, over here, these photos were all the same day. It was like right after Monkey started um, feeling better from being sick and we were just hanging out. And then over here, the big story was up here he turned... 18 months. I think these photos were a couple days before he actually turned 18 months, but um, we went down to his doctor appointment and had his little checkup and all that, and he's doing well. So yeah, that was that story. Um, this one was just about a night we had friends over, and then this one down here was about me and my kiddo. We went and got haircuts, and... <laughs> I got my hair cut really short. If you see like this picture up here where my hair was long, that was kind of like a before and after to here. It doesn't look as different in the photos, but oh my goodness. I got seven inches cut off and I'm not loving it to be honest. I kind of miss my long hair and I'm, I don't know, it's almost just as much work as it was before. So I don't know. I think I'm going to let it grow out and not do that quite so short next time. <laughs> And then this last one was a vanity I got myself for Christmas. It was kind of my own late Christmas gift, and we put it up in January there, and I, my hubby helped me put it all together, and I really liked it, so I wanted to add a picture of that in there. And that was pretty much it for the month. Now I have to start February, because we are in the end of February, and I'll get those photos printed, and... I'll have a share here soon so thank you guys for watching and hopefully you stick with me and aren't too uh, pushed away by all the changes from this album to that album. I think I'm where I want to be now as far as that goes. I think I'm definitely going to stick with this 12 by or 9 by 12 and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy. Have a good day. Bye!